Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to talk about iOS 12.3 Beta 3 that has just been released for the public beta. It comes just two weeks after Beta 2 and today I'd like to talk about some of the bugs, the new features, how the battery life is and the performance. The update comes at about 400 megabytes on my iPhone XS and the first thing you do always when we get a new version, we go into the about section, software version is 16F5139E. So there should be two more betas before the full release, which is kind of this tells us the build number. Let's just take a look at some of the new changes. There's a tweak to the Apple TV remote. So if we navigate over to there, there's some tweaks here and when you're airplaying and so on. It has been revised many times over the course of these betas. So it's just great now and it actually has some volume controls and a bunch of stuff like that. If we go back into the about section, we can go to the modem firmware and we see that we've been updated from 1.05.01 to 1.05.02. This should help with some connectivity issues that you might have been having and it should just be a lot better now. I haven't been having any recently with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so I don't think that this is an issue, but if you had issues, they should fix it. Now, there's one bug that many people seem to be talking about, and that's the bug in Safari. So there's a bug in Safari when you'd be typing. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, I cannot really reproduce it, but basically when you type in Safari, the whole Safari would basically crash, which is not very good. But you can fix that by going into your settings app going out of all of that and you can navigate to the Safari settings which are right here and you can turn off search engine suggestions. When you turn that off that should stop the issue and it shouldn't be crashing anymore. This means that an update is probably going to come very soon because Safari is a serious app that many people use on a daily basis so I think this is something that has to be fixed. Now another bug is with calls. So many people said that phone calls don't ring and then you don't even get a notification on your lock screen that you've got a missed call. So that is really really annoying as you can't hear, you don't know who called you and therefore that can create some misunderstandings with your friends and so on. And you had to go to the actual log in the phone app to figure it out who called you and so on. Now luckily for me there haven't been any connectivity issues with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or any other things but some people reported issues and they seem to be fixed in beta 3. Beta 3 has been running really smoothly, the performance is very good in iOS 12.3 generally not only in this beta so I would say that beta 3 will have a good performance as that has just been the trend with iOS 12.3. There's no lag or stutter as you can see it's really fast really smooth you can open up apps they open quickly and so on. Battery life is another good topic to talk about the battery life is good it has been good throughout the whole version of iOS 12.3 so let's hope that it stays like that about report and review this version later on when um, I've been testing it. Well, that is it. There's not so many features, just a few bugs, the main one being Safari. So not very good, but let me know what you think about this beta and how it has been going for you. You can go ahead and download it when you're in the public beta. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and subscribe to stay updated with all of the latest Apple news and a bunch more. Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next one.